Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at whether we're going to change 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 12th of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the external GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe on travel couple of weeks, we'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That will get us well into the uh, latter stages of May and I shall get on with that for you in a moment, just say that first the video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, and we've also released the EC uh, 30 day forecast UK and uh, for Europe as well. Check out those two vids if you'd like to do that. Like, share, and subscribe on the video. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely uh, Tuesday. I had a bit of a fall last night, I uh, felt I <laughs> went for a walk, uh, you know, nice evening sort of walk about. Eight it was a nice evening, and I fell down a pothole and uh, sprayed my ankle. So uh, I'm in a little bit uh, in a little bit of pain uh, actually uh, today. So uh, I'm going to try and get the video done as quickly as uh, as I can. And uh, then put my foot up. <laughs> I'll have to put more water with me, won't I? So I'll more chill it down a little bit more. Um, anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for uh, tuning in. Uh, right, uh, let's have a look at central intention then, so we can confirm that the CT for April did indeed come out at 8.7. There it is, 0.8 of a degree above the uh, 61 to 1990 average, so just a little bit above the old and cold temperature average, actually slightly below. The 91 to 2020 average, 0.2 of a degree below the uh, modern warmer 91 to uh, 20 average. So I think we basically say we've had a very average sort of April, uh, to, to be honest. May for the first day, uh, quite warm, coming out at 12.7 which is one and a half degrees above uh, the 61 to 1990 average there. We shall, of course, continue to uh, monitor developments with the CT through this month. <coughs> Excuse me, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles at Birmingham today. So the red line is a 30-year upper air temperature average for Birmingham. We're starting off about average at the moment. We will see those upper air temperature becoming quite warm. As we go through the uh, end of week and through the coronation weekend and on into the open of next week, and then dropping back closer to uh, normal again. Overall, not a particularly big deviation. There's no sign of anything, especially hot or cold, coming up in uh, the next couple of weeks. Looking, you know, just quite warm at times early on and then uh, near normal, I think. Precipitation wise, look more unsettled as well from the coronation weekend onwards. A couple of days of drier weather now coming up until the end of the week but from the weekend into next week actually looks quite unsettled with regular precipitation spikes coming through there and those precipitation spikes quite a few of them carrying on into the middle part of May as well so it doesn't look like the unsettled weather is done with us just yet. Temperature anomalies from the 2nd to the 10th of May are coming out ever so slightly above average up west side of Europe and precipitation anomalies from the 2nd to the 10th of May they're coming out near norm to a little bit on the uh, wetter side maybe in some central parts of the country. The latest spring from that from Earth uh, from School dot net so got a ridge of high pressure building. Into an area of high pressure actually across the country uh, today. That high pressure will bring uh, dry weather until the end of the week. Right, so this is the you can make your approach. It's looking for big night on Friday. By then, low pressure breaking through from the Atlantic. That's starting to bring shadow rain in from the south and from the southwest. If we go to the coronation weekend, further trust within the flow pushing up from the south southwest. So everything's coming up from the south southwest, so it will be relatively warm, but there will be showers, maybe in some longer spells of rain to contend with as well. And then low pressure comes in through uh, the beginning of next week. That's Bank Holiday Monday to uh, Tuesday next week. Low pressure coming in off the Atlantic, bringing more wet weather in this time from the west. I can't, again, with low pressure out of the Atlantic, starting to break down the high pressure and push in showers or maybe longer spells rain at the end of the week into the weekend, all looking rather showery with uh, low pressure never far away. So showers or longer spells of rain as we go through the coronation weekend. And at low pressure digging in through next week, looks very unsettled that, does it? As we get to this time next week, Tuesday night for May, we're under a proper area of low pressure there. So um, all looking very unsettled with that. 
GFS Midnight Run. Again, we see low pressure being shelved along the Belt Main on Friday, showery into the Coronation Weekend as well. The devil will be in the detail about this weather. Uh, the King and Queen managed to get, you know, a, a dry window for on uh, Saturday the 6th for the Coronation Bay. They do, but the overall theme of the weekend looks quite showery and quite unsettled. And those unsettled conditions then carry on into next week with low pressure never far away. Got a trough of low pressure over to the east of the country about day 10. 12th of May, a ridge out to the north and the west, so that looks quite cool and showery too. Uh, heading on to the Xenia range, over to FS Midnight Run, then builds up high pressure from the Azores, so uh, turning drier and warmer there through the middle part of May and into the second half of the month. That looks like a nice ridge. So after an unsettled showery second week today, um, the third week is looking quite a lot drier and warmer. What about the sixth then? Again, we've got showery conditions from the south and west at the end of week and into the uh, weekend. We're looking quite unsettled as well with certainly trusts, if not areas of low pressure in the flow. Those unsettled conditions carry on into next week as well. Low pressure transferred to the east of Scotland. Winds coming in from the north, north east. It's so cool and showery through the middle to second half of next week. That's day 10. High pressure way to the southwest. A trough over to the east of the country as well. And then beyond that, it starts to build some higher pressure in from the uh, southwest, which begins to turn things a little bit drier as we approach mid month and beyond. So, an area of high pressure then starts to take over across the country, and that should bring quite a lot of dry weather with it. And also warmer as winds come in from the east. So, both the GFS operational setting things down through the middle uh, part of May and into the third week of the month. It's a long way off, though, of course. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to your friends about Gals Web. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for uh, doing that. We've got some interesting things coming up in the next few weeks. We're going to be uh, doing a live stream uh, later on in the month, and I'll have all the detail about it in a few days. It's going to be a live stream uh, coming up later on in the month. It will be a charity live stream. It's going to be raising uh, money and awareness um, for uh, children's hospice in the East Midlands. I went to have a visit there uh, yesterday, that's before I uh, fell over, uh, luckily. Um, so I went to have a visit there yesterday and uh, saw all of the amazing work that they do and, and found out a lot more and I'll be um you know I'll be I'll be bringing the detail about all of that in uh, in the next few days um but it will be happening later on in the month and uh and we're going to try and raise some uh, nice uh, money for uh, what is an absolutely amazing and fantastic uh charity but is doing incredible work looking after uh, children with uh, uh, life limiting and also terminal illnesses, not just children, young adults as well. But more about that in uh, the next few days. And then next month, we'll begin Glasto updates as well. So uh, if anybody is off to uh, the Glastonbury Festival or interested in the weather for the Glastonbury Festival, just over a month from now, uh, we will be starting our uh, bespoke Glasto updates as well, which is always exciting. For, uh, for Gaz weather these to do for and, you know I love doing that so uh, yeah plenty coming up so uh, you know uh, keep 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 subbing and tell friends and fans and uh, fans and family and whatnot to uh, to sub as well and that's amazing thank you so much okay let's get back to Mr GM again low pressure coming in from south southwest on Friday even showers if not long spells of rain as well and then on into the get rid of that, on into the um, uh, coronation weekend looks mixed doesn't it there's low pressure never far uh, away either from the south or from uh, the west certainly looks like there'll be further showers but relatively warm temperatures into the coronation uh, weekend and then on into next week maybe reaching starting to push up from the southwest by day 10 could be something a little bit drier and warmer other models are more unsettled than that day 10 though and then this is the ecm uh, once more with uh, low pressure Bring showery conditions up from the south and west at the end of the week and then into the uh, coronation weekend again, trough of low pressure around the country, looking very showery uh, with that. And then on into next week, further low pressure, never far away with showers, if not long spells of rain. And then the East Shams start to turn very unsettled actually uh, later next week. So quite deep low pressure moving in from off the Atlantic. So by day 10, looking very cool. And uh, unsettled there. Um, I think out of all the model output, the ECM probably the most unsettled at day 10. That really does look, um, you know, really quite cool and uh, showery with that. This is the precipitation forecast based on that uh, ECM run from Tometeo.com. 
So some days of dry weather away from the far north and northwest anyway, but by the end of the week, showery conditions pushing in from the south and from the southwest. Heavy showers or maybe thunderstorms at the end of the week across the country, including be longer spells of rain. Um, that's Coronation Day, 6th of May, so we've got a massive rain just to ourselves in southwest at midday there. Uh, that wet weather looks like it primarily in the south and west because it's time for that to adjust. So <laughs> it is threatening. The uh, weather gods are threatening uh, the king and queen with a little bit of a, a little bit of a damp squib, I think here. Um, but again, you know, the devil's in the deep, so they might just about get away with it. Uh, and the rest of the coronation weekend looks as set as well with further showers and all longer spells of rain too. And those shower conditions carry on. All the way up to uh, day 10, actually. This is the option on the table within the ECM ensembles for day 10, which gets us to the 12th of May from the Icelandic Met Office. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles, all of them with low pressure to our north and west, and also to our south and east. of ridge is down to the southwest, so that brings quite a lot of uh, unsettled and relatively coolish weather with it as well at day 10. And then in two week time, these are the options that we've got. It gets us to the 17th of May. 21 members of the ECM ensemble still with low pressure to the north and the east. A ridge out to the southwest. That ridge is trying to build up to the southwest and settle things out, but could still be a bit showery up to that point. 17 going with the GFS operational runs and building a nice ridge up from the Azores to Scandinavia, so that turns things much drier and warmer with uh, those 17. And then we've got 13 with a ridge just out to our uh, west and northwest, and that would bring um, probably reasonably dry weather. The Atlantic is blocked up, but could be a little bit showery, probably quite cool with wind direction coming in from like a north easterly. So it is possible that we might get uh, a ridge going through the middle part of the month and turn things drier and warmer then. Let's have a look at CFSB2 before we go, and then we're done. So uh, these are 500 millibar height and noise breaking down into week periods. The first week period would take us from the 2nd to the 8th of May. The coming week, they'll have high pressure ridging up from uh, the southwest to the north. So it should be a lot of dry weather in the next few days. But uh, week two is a little bit more showery. This is the 9th to the 15th of May, high pressure to the south and southwest and also to the northeast, but low pressure out in the Atlantic probably brings, you know, uh, like a northwesterly flow and just also a little bit showering uh, with uh, that one. And then week three, three, will be the 16th to the 22nd of May with low pressure in the North Atlantic, high pressure to the southwest, winds coming in from a westerly direction with that. And then finally, week four, will be the 23rd to the 29th of May, and with that high pressure then reaching up from uh, the southwest. So, you know, this is what we've been seeing with the CFS weeklies over the past week or two. Doesn't look like an entirely settled uh, May, but certainly more in the way of drier and warmer weather than we've had uh, through this spring so far. It was quite changeable week by week, you know, very variable from week to week. But overall, there should be spells of drier and warmer conditions during May, which is quite good news for the gas where it's spring forecast, I think, but I shall say no more than that for now. Okay, we're done. So if you enjoyed the video, please thank you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this, all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Webbins. I mean, thank you so much, everybody, for doing that uh, for us. By the way, Terry Scully's um, uh, May forecast was released uh, yesterday. We don't do uh, a month ahead forecast. I don't do a month ahead forecast, you know, um, for uh, for Gals Webbins now. So the, the month ahead, third day forecast, official month ahead forecast, comes from Terry. Uh, Terry is our month pep forecast uh, guru. So um, make sure you have a look at Terry's uh, forecast for May. It's an interesting forecast, uh, and uh, I won't let any cats out of the bag, but there could be a little bit of convection this month. Um, but uh, check out Terry's forecast. It was released 7 pm last night on the channel. So, um, you know, have a look at that. Right, just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. We're going to have the 6 in UK weather forecast. There will be uh, the XO USA forecast and a 10 to 14 day as well. Please keep checking back to the channel for more. I'm going to go and put my foot up now because it is quite sore as I'm sat here <laughs> doing this video. So uh, it's uh, feet up time uh, for Gab for the rest of today. And hopefully uh, some of that swelling, you know, will go down and I'll be a little bit more um, up for it <laughs> perhaps tomorrow. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.